Hey guys, Thunderhound369 here, and today we're going to be taking a look at U.S. Agent from the Captain America movie line set of action figures. Picked this guy up just a day or two ago. Well, as a matter of fact, not very long ago at all. Just basically found him. Because this guy is has been hard to find around here in this area. So I'm really glad I found him. Found him at Kmart for like $7.99, I think. So anyway, we'll go ahead and take a look at the card here. Got an awful lot of glare. I know you guys are having a hard time seeing it, but anyway, it's got a nice little picture of U.S. agent here on the back. It says Freedom Starblade Shield. U.S. Agent. U.S. Agent is armed with a vibranium shield very similar to that of Captain America. He uses this for protection and as a weapon. Although he and Captain America have had their differences, they both agree that, the, that any threat to justice and freedom must be stopped. As far as other figures in the line, you've got Captain Britain, Crossbones, who has been one heck of a figure to try to track down around here. I just haven't seen him anywhere. And Heroic Age Captain America. Now the only thing about this Captain America movie line stuff is I've got the Marvel Universe Captain America, so I've not been too worried about trying to track any of the normal figures down. I've only been after certain ones like U.S. Agent, Crossbones, and the Red Skull. And I might pick up Captain Britain. Maybe. Not. I'm still on the fence about that one. Um, I just don't know if I want to pick up the single card version of Captain Britain or pick up the uh, Kmart exclusive three pack with Captain Britain, Captain America, and I think Red Star. The only problem is I don't want to add another Captain America figure to my collection. So, I don't know. I haven't made my mind up about that one yet either. Because I really do want that Red Star figure. So anyway, we'll go ahead and take a look at U.S. Agent here. Take a look at his accessories first. He comes with... Uh, we can get him to stand back up. comes with a nice little Uzi machine gun. Got some pretty good detail to it. Only thing is, it doesn't have. It's got the trigger guard, but no trigger. No trigger molded onto it. We'll lay that back down. Now he does. He can hold the Uzi in just his right hand. I'll show you why in just a moment with his left. He holds it fairly well, but his always going to point one direction. You, I can't seem to, there it goes, I got it to point one certain way, but as you can see, he's not holding it very well, but the, if you really want him to hold it real well, it's always going to be pointing at a downward angle. We'll go ahead and take the shield off and take a look at it. As far as the shield, now I really like this shield. It is a nice, nicely designed shield. I like it. It's got the eagle design, the eagle wings, with the star right in the middle, the eagle tail, feathers. The only thing is, is it's just molded gray plastic, basically is all it is, with the red paint up each side. That's basically all you got. doesn't have a whole lot of detail. I mean, you do have the detail for the eagle eye. A little bit of feather detail to around each. But other than that, it's just basically black or gray plastic. 
And then on the back, it's got some more. It's got some circular. It's got a little bit of detail to the back. And he can hold this shield in two different ways. It's got this peg which fits into his left hand only. I've done tried his right hand, it will not fit. And he can hold it that way as a normal weapon or the way I just the way I've been getting him to hold it is you can flip this out and you get the clip which you can just clip it right onto his wrist clips on rather nicely now from the side it stands out quite well it does look very well but from the front it looks kind of awkward so there's how I've been displaying him for what little bit of time he's been on my shelf I've been displaying him just like this So we'll go ahead and take the shield off, set it to the side now, and have a look at the figure. Now I did notice slight mist paint here on the star on his chest. It's got it's like the stars off to the right, just one one slight bit. The eyes look pretty good. wings are okay it's just basically almost like a standard Captain America figure with a little bit darker blue paint and the chest symbol being a little bit different and I love the molded I love the way they've molded his face you know give him the I don't know what you would call it the, the a more not a happy-go-lucky kind of, you know, more of a badass kind of mold. Like he's always in a pissed-off mood. That's what I'm looking for. Like he's kind of pissed off about something. This way they've got everything molded like he's mad about something. Other than that, I haven't noticed a lot of bad paint on him. Got a nice little red belt going around, pouches, water canteen, gray painted buckle. I'm going to go over his articulation real quick. His head, we'll go full 360. We'll go up and down, side to side. Arms at the shoulders will go full 360. Out to here. Down. No upper bicep is the only thing. No upper bicep on these figures. Elbow joint will bend only to there. And they will rotate 360. No wrist joints now as far as the upper ab area on this guy is he does have movement but it's extremely stiff extremely stiff his legs will go out to the side but they're stiff as well and I don't know if it's just my figure or what but I can't get them to come forward I cannot get these legs to go for I can get them to kick forward just a little bit can't get them to move back they will go out to the side I have looked to see what type of ball joint there is in there but I cannot get I got a hold of that one finally he will come out to the front now. I'll have to get in here and play around with that one now. But the joints on this guy were extreme, are extremely stiff. We'll rotate at the thigh. 
double jointed knees now he does he does not have upper calf movement now he does have ankle movement they're both fairly freed up the only difference is this one pivots down back now you see how far this one pivots this one almost comes completely off the joint I mean this one Gabe gives me it's kinda weak but other than that it's the only weak joint on him is this ankle joint right here everything else is tight as you can see what kind of trouble I've had with him hip joints just now getting that ball joint that joint to move out but anyway now that I finally got him lined up <clears throat> we'll go ahead and put his shield back on because I really like that shield on him we'll put him back here so he can stand up maybe and we'll just let him lean now do I recommend him? Hell yeah, I recommend him. Because I'm a, I'm a bigger fan of U.S. Agent than I am Captain America. Because I've always just liked U.S. Agent's badass attitude. To me, I mean, he does, he always winds up doing the right thing. But he's just got a badass attitude. Sort of what you call the uh, anti-heroes. So now, what do I recommend? Do I recommend picking him up? Well, if you're a die-hard Marvel fan, yes, pick him up if you can find him. But he's not going to be everybody's cup of tea. But this guy has been, is extremely hard to find in most areas, especially around here where I'm at. <clears throat> so my recommendation is pick him up if you can find him. But not everybody's going to want him, so there you go. Basically make up your own mind as to whether you want him or not. So anyway, there's my look at U.S. Agent from the Captain America action figure line. I'm Thunderhound369. I hope everybody's enjoyed the video. Until next time, guys, I'm out of here. See y'all.